games in three seasons. Big game, James, I'll start with you. What do they miss with KCP not on the floor? Uh, a, a variety of things, really. I mean, uh, his, his defensive pressure uh, that he's able to put on opponent guards uh, is something that they, they miss defensively. Uh, you know, he's been able to knock down the three-point uh, shot very consistently, especially last year in the bubble or a few months ago in the bubble or last year in the bubble. That's right. It's 2021 now. And, you know, his movement without the basketball, he seems to always be able to be backdooring, cutting somewhere. But his presence, I think, on the defensive end, which kind of dictates what he does on the offensive end, too. Yeah, that's a big key. Um, in this day and age, we talk about offense a lot. We always want to talk about three-pointers. We want to talk about getting back and getting easy bucks in transition. Those three things are what KCP does with his team. He plays good defense. He gets some open threes, especially from that corner, and he gets some buckets in transition. So with him being out, they're going to lose some points in that nature. But the good thing about that, they have guys that can step in. And if you think about it, he's only missed, what, three games, four games? Or this will be the fourth in Fourth game years. in three years? That's amazing because this age, this day and age, everybody is, what, low managing? It, or everybody impressive. get a hangnail, they're out. But he's been, he's been durable. Uh, we also heard in that sound that KCP is kind of finding his voice in terms of becoming – uh, a mentor, especially for a young guy like THT. So it's kind of a two-part question, James. Do you do you remember, guys, when that happened, when you kind of went to that veteran role a, a little bit where you started feeling confident enough to, to help young guys? And how important is it for a young guy to have a mentor and, and a voice in their ear? Like we saw with Kuz last year with Dudley. It's, it's critical. Uh, and, and I think that's why you see teams now, they will try to go out and recruit you know, veteran players who have that kind of stability in the, in the locker room. You know, Rondo going to Atlanta for a young player. KCP's been going around uh, Oklahoma and now in Phoenix. You need that kind of stability. Guys like Danny Green, you know, Dudley is one of those guys. So, yeah, I always look to guys like Bob McAdoo and, you know, Mitch Kupchak, and, you know, just for, you know, solid advice, especially, you know, um, after you've been with them a few years. But the thing about KCP being out, I was going to allude to, is that this is one of the, the, the best teams the Lakers have had. When someone is out, we used to be like, oh, it's over. we're in trouble. <laughs> but look at all the, I mean, and, and Caruso's been out, He hasn't too. been on the trip. Caruso's been out, Pope's been out, and we still were not worried because we got guys like Tucker who are coming in and Matthews, you know, so I think that's a good problem for the coach to have. But it is good to have, have Pope as a mentor. I think he's, I think he's 30 yet, Rob. You see? He's not 30 yet, but, yeah. but James, we, we see it right here in our own studio. Fish out, call Rob, he's yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here in 30 minutes. I'm that guy for you. Hey, I'm all, hey, you know, we always show up in the clutch. You know, you, you do. know me, I'm clutch, dog. You know? Hey, Just, I run that on loop at home. Team actually. player. <laughs> Big shot. But Allie's making noises out here. She's still uh, upset with the whole Ohio State Alabama It's okay. Thing. Uh, do you remember when your voice became important for another player? You know, it's, it's funny because I think about – all the teams I've been on. When I was in Houston, I was a young guy, you know, yeah. you know, leaning on other people's shows. When I got to L.A., everybody was sort of the same. But when I got to San Antonio, I became that old head on the team. Yeah, you did. And so I remember Matt Bonner will always come to me and ask me questions. And I'm sitting here trying to teach him. And the one thing I always, always tell him when you're playing for a guy like Pop, don't look at him. Every time he would make a mistake, he'll look at the bench. I was like, dude, don't look at him, man. That's so funny. <laughs> Have confidence. That's the yeah. biggest key that I will always tell young guys. Just be confident, man. There's a reason they drafted you. There's a reason you're on this roster. So just be confident in yourself. It's the second straight game for the Lakers in Memphis. In the second straight game, we check in with Mike Trudell from the green room. It's a lonely place, but he does a fantastic job. It's down the hall. Hi, Mike. Not too lonely. I mean, I, I would like big game to just stop by and kind of poke his head in once in a while. That'd be nice. Just you know, a little just, cigar smoke in there, just maybe. Just around the corner. I'll just bring, around the corner. I'll, I'll bring you a cold one. I'll bring you a cold one in there. I uh, appreciate that. Post game. Uh, thanks, big game. Yeah. Post okay. game. <laughs> Obviously, post game. Uh, by the way, Robert, I believe you were in your 26, 27 year season or age when you went over to the Lakers. KCP is 27. So, you know, you already had some rings by that point. But, yeah, uh, so 27. <laughs> Couple. Hey, way to keep, keep, me in, keep me in line. Keep me in line, man. I'm, I'm, I'm old. I forget stuff now. <laughs> yeah, well, well, no, you had that right. You had that right. Just, just, just confirming what you said earlier. Uh, now, Frank Vogel confirmed what you guys already discussed, of course, that KCP is out and Kyle Kuzma uh, is going to start in this one. Uh, the Lakers had a pretty good game, though, and defensively, especially in the quarters uh, two through four after a slow start against Memphis. That was one of several things that Frank Vogel spoke about, guys, moments ago. That's the depth that uh, uh, you know we have, and we try to find a silver lining anytime a guy is out. In, in terms of uh, other guys getting 
uh, extended opportunities, and you know you see that with uh, obviously Kuz getting to be in the, in the starting role, along with uh, AD and, and LeBron not in place of AD and LeBron. Um, you know guys like Wes and Talon who are you know fairly new to our system. More minutes mean more uh, opportunities to, uh, to just to learn our system and their teammates, and uh, and see how they they fit in. So we're trying not to highlight the positive and. Um, you know, those guys were, were able to do a good job. I, I thought the bench started slow uh, at the end of that first quarter you know, the other night, but um, throughout the rest of the game, uh, really dominated play. So uh, I was happy with that. And then, Frank, first quarter of the last game, you gave up 36 points, and from that point on, kind of shut things down, 18, 21, and 19, respectively. What did you see on the film about the defense that was different from the first quarter? Well, you know, as a coach, you always want the, that, that burst by the other team to happen early in the game. Kind of wakes your guys up. And uh, I, I think there was, uh, you know, potential for, you know, taking the team lightly because, the, you know, they were a, a non-playoff team last year or a nine seed, I should say. And, uh, you know, able to uh, or, or had their, their two best players out. So, you know, I think for them to, uh, to do what they did in that first quarter, Kind of woke our guys up, showed us what we we have to do to, to win a game tonight, uh, that night, and you know, the final three quarters we really buckled down. All right, and by the way, guys, uh, Alex Caruso, as uh, according to Frank Vogel, what he just said, he is hopeful that Caruso can play once the team gets back in Los Angeles. In big game, you don't have to bring me anything, man. I got a fridge right next to me. Got some water, cold water, little Mountain Dew for in case uh, Tough Juice wants to come back from. My Miami at some point. <laughs> All right. So we're good back here, That's man. Good, we're good. Man. All right. Mountain Dew is in there. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steph, fridge right that there. whole fridge ready for uh, tough juice. Thanks. That's Appreciate right, that, Mike. Good work. Lakers and Grizz coming up at 5 here on Spectrum Sportsnet. Montrez Harold doing work on Sunday. 16 points, 7 11, 9 rebounds in the Laker win. Plus, LeBron James hasn't missed a game this season, but is playing a career low 32 minutes. We discuss player usage when we come back. Sorry, James, you can't sit this one out, but we need you.